Hey, you guys. Sorry I'm a little late. Hi, this is Birgit with something from somewhere. Organically reborn furniture and decor. I was having some technical difficulties here with the light. I don't know what's going on, but anyway. I am glad you guys can join me. Thank you for being here, Christopher. Can you hear me and see me all right, or am I like funky, um, upside down? How do you see me? For some reason, I'm getting a notification to turn my phone, but I have it horizontal. Can you um, let me know if you can hear me and see me okay? I would totally appreciate it. I was having some difficulties earlier, so I don't know what's going on, if it's me or Facebook. But anyway, um, you guys, thank you for being here again. I'm usually on every Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, and I am the owner and artist of Something From Somewhere, um, and I love to show you um, every week something new. Today, I want to uh, show you how you can turn a mirror and, and really quick and easy give it a makeover using a transfer, transfer excuse me, um, and we are going to be doing that today. So I hope you can join me and stay for a little while with me. Any questions as we go along, please, please go ahead and participate. I'd love to hear where you're from, where you're watching from. So here it is. So I have a mirror. I'm going to turn you around so you can see better. I'm sure all of you have or at one point have had a mirror at home that you don't like. So this is a great way to give it a makeover, really, where it can look wonderful and beautiful and uh, hang it on the wall and the patio um, and totally give it a new look. So what we're gonna use is um, a transfer. It's like a big sticker. These are by IOD. This particular transfer is called Midnight Garden. It's like a big sticker. You cut it and we'll put it on. We're gonna do it together. Okay, so I'm having a little bit uh, of a dilemma earlier actually this mirror you can see here this area over here is black it was black and I want to paint it in white so I started earlier just so that it would dry a little bit and show you how to wet distress it that is if you wanted to just paint it the color that I'm using in the paint is a clay based paint hi Rodrigo welcome uh, by country chic so this is the color it's called crinoline. It's like a white, um, you can see there, crinoline. It's a uh, grayish white. And um, I started painting it, so we're just gonna continue painting so I could show you how easy these paints are. You don't really need to prime them. Uh, you don't need to sand anything. So you pretty much just paint and go, and that's really what makes life so much easier to, to make this quick makeover. Um, so I'm going to continue just painting because I want to show you also the great easy way to take off the paint if it gets on the mirror. So one thing that you do need to know is that once we commit to where we're going to place this transfer, and I'm going to show you how, um, you make sure that the mirror is really clean. Uh, it's great if you could after, you know, using Windex, I don't know what you would use. I, of course, you know, I use your typical Lysol and I cleaned it really good. Um, then with a um, lint-free cloth, make sure that it's really clean because once you put the transfer, it's not really a piece that you're going to be able to put any kind of products to clean it and it is a mirror. Um, so make sure it's nice and clean before you place the transfer. What else is there? Hi, Rodrigo, how are you? Great, thank you, thank you for being here. So, okay, so it was black, as you could see. That's why I left this area, so you could see um, the color that it was previously. I'm sure you must have something at home that you don't like, and we all have mirrors that maybe are outdated and we don't like anymore. So this is a great way, you'll see. So I'm taking my paint, my brush. This is number eight, called Dream, by Paint Pixie. So I just really, you guys can see well, let me push it up a little bit, there. So just, you know, paint, just paint. It doesn't matter if it goes on the mirror itself, because I want to show you uh, on the next step how easy it is to clean it and to distress. Distressing means um, you're going to bring out the color that was before if you want to. Obviously, you don't have to, 
I will like that on this mirror. I want to show the black to come through and I'm going to do a wet distressing, which is really just a damp cloth and water. And I'm just going to go over the areas that I want the other paint to show. I'm doing this process first before doing the transfer because I don't want to get paint on the transfer. Okay, so we'll get there. So how are you guys doing? What are you up to on this Thursday? Getting to the end of the week. Are you guys back at work? Some of you? I'm officially um, open. I can't have too many people in the shop at the same time, but I can already have my doors open. I've been getting people coming um, and calling me actually before showing up, but uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, still keeping you know our distancing, but it's cool to be able to, you know, invite people over and uh, socialize a little bit again. Hi, Christina, how are you? Clementina, hi, hi. I'm sorry, I see you guys, your comments upside down. If you see me go like this, you're coming out sideways. I have no idea why. So, do you guys see me okay? Like, am I straight on you guys um, when you see me on the video? I just wanna make sure because my words and my texts are coming out sideways. I had some difficulty earlier. I just wanna make sure that it's, that you guys can someone let me know, please, if you can see me okay? All right, cool. So I'll keep going. I'm not sure why this is coming out sideways. Sorry, guys. Let me see what's up. I have no idea. Rotate your phone. Sorry, I don't know what's up. So I'm sorry if I read your sideways. But you guys can see me? Yeah, anybody there that can say, yeah, you can see me okay. <laughs> all right, so I'll keep going. I hope it all comes out pretty good. So I'm painting the mirror. This is, I'm using Country Chic paint. The color is called crinoline. It's a white with a little bit of a gray tone. So this side I started earlier. I'm gonna do a second coat now. I do wanna show you guys how to wet distress. You wanna do it when it dries. But I would say um, just a couple of hours. I won't have time here at the, at the, on the live. But I want you guys to see how pretty it looks when you just wet distress it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm a little bit far from the phone right now, but I will answer all your questions as soon as I get a chance. So any of you guys have any mirrors at home that you've been wanting to revamp, give it a new look, I know I have a few. This one I picked up, where did I pick up? I think it was actually like a garage sale. Um, I thought it was very pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna open the other. So crinoline, for those of you that are just coming in, it's uh, by Country Chic. It's a beautiful white grayish tone. So it's not all white, 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 white. Clementina, where are you? Where are you these days? Are you still in DC? All right, here we go. All right, sorry if I'm blocking you guys. So you see it was black. It's, um, um, it's wood, but I don't know what kind of paint it had before. 
it's kind of, it was kind of shiny, so it must be, uh, I don't know, with already with a sealer. The great thing about these paints is that you really don't need to seal, put a primer, I'm sorry, primer prior to it, or sand. It practically goes over anything. So I'm just mixing it a little bit because it's like making a big mess here. So you guys, what else did you guys want to learn? I know that you've been following me. I started doing the videos not too long ago and I'm always trying to get ideas and of course listen to you guys and help you with any of your projects at home. So if you have stuff that you want to do and you're not sure, and you have any questions about the paint, please, please, please let me know. I'm very willing and would love to help you with your projects and answer any questions. My website, in case some of you uh, don't know, many times you ask me, it's called somethingfromsomewhere.com. And all the products that I use are available on my website if you want to purchase. And also they have explanations on how to use them. And I also include some videos, especially now on the transfer that we're going to use if you have more questions. There are also videos and um, that will explain to you um, in further detail in case you missed something. Okay? All right. So we're going to let that dry. But this is where I wanted to show you. It doesn't have to be perfectly painted because we're going to distress it. And distressing means that, you know, some parts are still gonna show and come off. So it doesn't have to be perfect. And one thing you do wanna make sure, and I always try to remind you, is that it's best that you put a thin coat first and then you do layers than to put a one big thick coat. Uh, for two reasons, really. One, that if it is a thin layer, it dries faster. I uh, use less paint, obviously. And this type of paints, if you put too much and then you go over it, you have a tendency of taking it off. So it's best that you do thin layers, wait for it to dry, then put a second layer and so forth. <laughs> Lighter colors are always going to take a little bit of more paint than if you use darker colors, of course. Now in this particular case, it's black underneath. So um, I am doing about two and a half coats. I'm kind of just playing it by ear. What I want to show you is the distress. The distress, this side is really wet. The other one should be drier because I painted it earlier, the first coat. So I'm gonna show you on that side what wet distressing is. And pretty much what it is, is that you take a wet cloth and you put it in water. Can you guys see me okay? Hi Astrid, how are you? Welcome, great to see you here. I hope you guys can see me well, no one's answered me yet. Because something's coming on here, strange with the name coming out sideways. So if you see me go like this, it's because I can't read them straight. I have to read them sideways. But I hope you guys can see me straight because I see me straight. So just if someone can tell me, that will be great. Um, awesome. Hi, Issei. How are you? Welcome. Okay, so for all of you that are just coming in right now, I'm showing you hi, uh, how to... Do a makeover on a mirror. I'm sure we a few of us have some of those around that we don't like anymore. So this is a great way to make it really beautiful, really easy. So this, you can see the replay started out as black. I'm painting it with a clay-based paint called Country Chic. And uh, the color is called Crinoline. Um, and I am going to now show you how to wet distress it, which means once it dries, you can just with a wet cloth and water actually distress it a little bit in the areas where you want it to look like vintage and old. Um, and I'm gonna do that first before going into the transfer because I want to be able to take off any paint that comes out on the sides and of course not go onto the transfer. Okay. Um, 
trying to buy some play paint, but you are sold out. Ah, no, um, it's called Country Chic. So there's got to be quite a few uh, choices there, Issei. If you want to message me um, privately and just tell me what you're looking for, I can always get it for you if it's sold out, okay? So, um, yeah, because I think that you will really love them. They're so easy and really they go on smooth and it's a great way to change the look of your house without having to go spend a fortune when you can do it yourself it's really cool all right you guys so let me get my wet cloth pretty much this is what i do it's a little a little rag and i just wet it squeeze it not totally soaking you want it to be damp You guys see me okay? The lighting is very funky today, I don't know. But anyway, I hope you can. All right, cool. So this side, I kind of just painted now, but what I wanted to show you was here. Let me move this here. So you saw it was black, didn't do anything, just started painting over it. So this is a bit dry, and if you see here on the sides, it's come out some that is cool that's okay no problem because you can always take that off once it dries i have a little gillette like a little razor and you can spray some lysol or like a foam you know those sprays that are foamy and you just pretty much you can rub it off and it's really easy I don't know if you can see here, but I do it at the end. Once it dries, you use this little razor, like, you know, a Gillette, and just go in the border, and it comes off really easy. You don't even need sometimes to spray. But you do want to make sure that it's nice and clean before you put the transfer on. Any of you guys have any questions? Oh, you want to paint your mailbox? They say nice, awesome. Um, for that, yeah. Just let me know what color you're looking for. If you don't see it on the website, I mean, it should be up there. They're all up. You want to probably, if it's going to be outside, use a tough coat so that it resists you know, the elements being outside, if it rains, the water, you know, all that. But totally, it, what is the mailbox? Is it um, a metal, metal mailbox, is say, or wood? What, what kind of um, material is it? Hi, Anthony, welcome. What is that, Claudia, hi, hi, Claudia. You guys, I'm showing you how to make a quick makeover using a mirror. So if you have a mirror running around at home that you don't like anymore, just how to easily you can paint it. And using a transfer, which I'm gonna show you now, how easily can turn into Pretty much like a piece of art almost. It's a mirror, so once you put it on, you know, you can't really well, take it off, not that you really want to take it off, but to clean it will be a bit difficult. So once you put it on, you commit, make sure that the mirror is really clean. So right now I just took off the excess of the paint in the borders. Just bear with me. I know it doesn't look that pretty right now, but I'm gonna clean it really good. So use, you know, my your regular Windex, paper towels. Hey, you guys. 
Are you anybody back at work? I know the schools are still definitely out, right, Talia? But how about uh, any of you guys? Are you allowed to go back to work? I actually got great news today, my daughter, because my daughter was out of work. They called her back from her job that she loves, and uh, they told her she's able to come back again. She designs wallpaper. She makes, she paints the designs of wallpaper. It's a pretty awesome job. You know, she's the artist, the studied artist. She went to college at, in New York, so she has a beautiful job. And she was really bummed when they told her, you know, with all this thing, not having to go to work anymore. She's bored to death. But today, she called me all excited, saying that they had called her back that she is able to go back to work starting Monday. So, that's cool. All right, you guys, can you see there? All right, cool. You see all that, all that reflection down there? Those are the transfers, which we're gonna use now. These, they come in these really cool tubes. I have to figure out what to do with them when I'm done using these transfers because it's a really nice packaging, actually. I have it upside down. They come with these little cute handles. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. They're really cool. So the one that we're going to use today is called Midnight Garden. Midnight Garden. So hold on just a second. Let me just clear the area here. All right. So this is pretty clean. So this is the lint-free cloth I like to use. And really make sure it's nice and clean. In the meantime, the paint is drying and I'm gonna show you the wet distressing. Let me bring you a little bit closer. Can you guys see okay? Yeah, yeah, lamps too. I've, I've actually painted a, a lamp already. Say, I think I have a video on it if you wanna check it out. I've painted lamps and I wanna show you in another video how to paint lampshades because you can also paint the lampshades. And uh, I'll show you the chair. If you weren't here the last time we started painting the fabric upholstery on a chair. Oh my God, the chair came out gorgeous. Um, I haven't posted, I'm gonna post them tonight. And if I have time, I'll show you guys really quick what the chair looks like for those that were watching the last time. Hi, Sean, how are you? Hi, hi, welcome. Thank you for being here. All right, you guys. All right, is this good? Okay, so. I don't know what the lighting happened today. It's, it's really bright. Um, but anyways, not in my ring light. There's other lights going on here. So I don't know. Today's kind of a little bit weird. I apologize. It's, it's really bright. I hope you guys can see well, though. All right. So the frame was black. Now it's white. So this is wet distressing. Any damp cloth, wet it. Let me bring you down. I'm sorry for all the movement. The lighting is so weird, you guys. I know I keep saying it, but I'm sorry. I apologize. I don't know why it's not so clear. So, I wet this. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. So, this is what this does. What you want to do is just with the little cloth, the white cloth, you just go over to certain areas where you want to wet distress, which is, means you know you want the details to come out. Sometimes people have like, you know, these older style mirrors that have like flowers on them or they're gold. So you can paint over it and then you can just do this. Let me turn this off. Is that a little better? Can you guys see what I mean here? Hold on, let me bring you down. So 
So it's right here. See this here? This is the wet distressing. It looks really, really cool when you're done. So you just go all around to those areas that you want to expose the other color underneath. That's the great thing about these paints. They're easy. It's clay, so with the water, you actually can manipulate it. It doesn't get like totally stuck until obviously it's dry, dry, and you seal it. But when it's just recently been painted, you can use a wet rag, and you don't really even need sanding. So it's really great. So. There you go. So any of you have tried any projects lately? with becoming creative at home. So I'm going to go into the transfer now. But I wanted to show you how easy it is to paint the frame. If you have any at home that you wanna paint, change the color, change the look. The paints that I'm using are by Country Chic. It's a clay-based, only one decor paint, so they have everything you really need. You don't really need to sand or prime or seal, actually. But I always like to seal my pieces, but they're pretty much a paint and go, and they're beautiful. The colors are very rich, and the beauty of these paints is that they're all natural. They have no VOCs, which means volatile organic compounds. They're biodegradable, they're child safe, and therefore you can also use them indoors. They have no chemicals, no toxics, and um, they're safe to paint indoors. All right, you guys. All right, so let me bring you back up a little bit. I'm going to show you the transfer that we're gonna use. All right. They come in this tube, like I mentioned earlier. This one is called Midnight Garden. They all come with their little tool. It's this little plastic tool, which is what you use to put the transfer on. Okay. So here, so you guys can see me. And I can see you. All right. Great. So here we go. So, they come, it's like a big sticker, and they come with this backing. This is for, to protect the transfer. Do not take it off until you're ready to use it. The great thing about these, they come in these big sheets. This particular one, I believe, is a 24 by 33. Um, you can cut them, so if you don't use it all in one use, you can you know, keep what you have left and use it in another project. Um, look at this, I, I love this particular. It's gorgeous, it has like a peacock. Very pretty. Let me put you back here behind me. You guys can probably see me better. There you go. Very cool, all right, good. All right, so you guys can see this? All right, so it's a big sticker. This is a pretty large mirror as well, so it actually worked out really good. So I want to place it where, you know, where I want it. The beautiful part of these uh, transfers as well is if you guys can see, they have like these little squares, so it has a grid. So it's great for measuring. It helps being able to place it where you want to. So here we go. So as you guys can see, this is the inside of the mirror. So there's gonna be some area that is not really going to fit, but that's okay because I can use it for another project. So this is what I want to do here. 
remember the backing. Don't take it off until you're ready. And since it's a mirror, it's going to stick pretty quick. So make sure that once you come in where you place it, that's, that's where it goes. can see what I'm doing. All right, cool. All right, so let's do this. Let's start with this side and I'll pull it as I go. So here we go. So remember with your little plastic tool that came in the box, in the two, pretty much just go over it just to make sure that you don't have any bubbles and that you got all the corners right. The areas that don't fit, don't worry. We'll keep them for an another project. So now just keep pulling the sticker, the, the white part out as you squeeze down. You guys can see me? Cool. No, it's not. So don't worry about the left finger. We can put it back out there. All right. You guys can see? All right, awesome. So here we go. So just squeeze, just to make sure that it's all placed properly. You know, it's like, like a spatula pretty much. Squeeze down. Okay. This may take a little time, but I wanna show you what we're talking about here. So we're gonna start over here on this side. You're going to just rub the transfer. So, just rub. I'm starting from the corner here. And as you rub, when it transfers over to the mirror, it just starts getting like almost translucent. And you know that it transferred. And then you just keep lifting and pressing down. Bring you closer here. You guys can see. All right. You see how it starts looking like a little bit like see through y when you start rubbing? That means it's transferring to the bottom. Let me do a little bit more so you guys can see better, okay? They're the coolest. I am like totally addicted to these transfers. Have any of you ever used them before? They are by IOD. IOD stands for Iron Orchid Designs. Uh, it's this company that carries a lot of uh, DIY, do-it-yourself products, molds, transfers like these, stamps. We'll do some of those another time. I'll show you how to use them. But they're like top quality and just gorgeous, gorgeous things to work at home to, you know, for your furniture and. I just love their products. I carry all of this that you see here. If you guys want to purchase any, they're in my website at somethingfromsomewhere.com. If you have any questions, totally please info at somethingfromsomewhere. That's my email. I'll be more than happy to show you, to teach you, to answer any questions you may have, okay? Hi, Sergey. How are you? Thanks for watching. So here we are now doing this transfer. I'm showing everyone how to create this 
mirror from being a dull and black into a piece of art, which you can hang. I hope I did this the right way. At home or any area. So look at this guy. Can you see how it's transferring on this side? Awesome. goes on very fast. Not as fast in pieces of furniture sometimes. You know, you have to also deal with different, you know, drawers and grooves and things. This is pretty flat, so it's pretty easy, but the mirror itself, the shiny surface, helps stick it really, really good. If for any reason, when you lift it up and you don't see that it's all been transferred and that it got stuck on the piece, on the plastic, that's okay. Put it back down and you can rub over it again and it'll stick, okay? That's why it's, it's important that you just kind of like rub and then lift and see what it's looking like, making sure that it's all working properly. Maybe I should do the bottom, so you guys can see here. So they have a bunch of different styles, designs, black and white color. This in particular one has a lot of color. I think it's beautiful. It can be pretty much any style. A little bit of classic farmhouse style. Also a little bit, you know, modern. I think it goes with any style, any style of frame. It was black and I wasn't sure if I wanted it black. Black is cool, I like black, but I think it just gives it a better, softer look with the white frame. Hi, John, how are you? Oh my God, thank you for being here. It's so awesome that you're here. I want to be where you are. Paradise. You're in paradise. How's it going? So I'm showing you guys, for those that are just kind of showing up now, how to turn a mirror into something beautiful, a piece of art. If you have any mirrors at home that you're not liking, how easy it is to give it a makeover. So if you guys are coming in late, you can watch the replay and you can see there that this was black and now I painted it in white. I showed you how to distress. That's why you see a little bit of here of the black coming through. This paint is clay based, so it's great to not need to be sanding. It's easy just with a wet cloth. And, uh, and you know, pull out some of the details on the frame. And uh, then I put this transfer to come in this tube. It's called the IOD Decor Transfer by Iron Orchid Designs. It's like a big sticker that you rub on. You can use it on furniture, on the walls metal, anything that you want to give it a really cool look, almost like if you painted something on it, or, and, and you didn't. You practically just put a sticker on it. But they absolutely make a big difference in any piece of furniture. I've even put them on books on covers, on tin cans, anywhere. And I'm done now showing you how to do it on a mirror. So again, if for any reason when you lift and you see that it didn't go through at the bottom, just put it back down and squeeze. I know this takes a little bit of time, but 
Thanks for hanging and watching. So Don, you are in your new place. You like it? You are in Puerto Rico, no? Puerto Rico? You guys can see? Look. Isn't that cool, you guys? It looks beautiful. I, like. I don't know. You know what's hard with this? Job, work. I want to keep everything. <laughs> and I really shouldn't. It is a business after all, but I want to keep everything I do. But this will probably be up on the website in the next couple of days. So if any of you guys want to look into it further and purchase it, I don't know how much yet, but it will be up. Um, or you can do one for yourself. So this that transfers. Any of you are interested in trying this at home, you can purchase the transfer on my website at somethingfromsomewhere.com. I've included videos as well, a video, in case you need to review or if you have any questions. You can also call me, and I'll be more than happy, or email me to explain to you. And all the different styles and colors are there. Remember also, like I said, for any reason, they come in these big sheets. This one is a 24 by 33, so it's quite large. But um, there's also some smaller ones. There's all kinds. I mean, I have them all up here. You see, they're all hanging. Can you guys see? Let me see. Let me show you. I'm trying to up on the top, up there. You see the tubes? There. There's a bunch of them for any look, any style you're looking for. Some are small, some are large. But if you don't use it all, you can just cut what you need. You can cut them and use it for your next project. So you don't waste anything. Okay, I'm doing here. come with this plastic tool and you just rub it off. So I started a YouTube channel. Um, that's one of my announcements. You guys, I would totally appreciate it if you went to something from somewhere on YouTube and you subscribe to my channel. I've got still a lot to learn, but any of these videos that I'm doing here, I'm posting them up there. And um, as I learn how to edit, I'll start editing. For now, I'm including the lives. But any support, any shares, likes, subscribe, that would be so awesome. I would totally appreciate it. You know, as a small business, any little, Thing helps and I'm really thankful to many of you who have been with me since the beginning and still are I love it thank you so much thanks for hanging out ah you like the white okay Sergey awesome uh-huh does it look pretty I like the way I was contemplating to keep it black or paint it and I'm glad I did I know a lot of the girls like the white so that's kind of like that whole shabby chic farmhouse style look the black is elegant but it's didn't quite do it for me so i'm glad you like it thank you all right so you guys i'm almost done i know it takes a little while and it builds muscle so it's been not so easy for me to work out lately because all the gyms have been closed but this does keep me in shape let me tell you 
So you see this part that I'm not using down here? No worries. I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna place it back on the white, on the white sheet, which is the protector, and I could use it for another project. Hi, Carla. Hi, you love this transfer, I know, right? I, I do too, it's really beautiful. Can you see? It's gorgeous. This is a mirror that was just black frame and a mirror. So we cleaned it really well. I painted it with country chic paint. I used to call it crinoline, uh, which is white, but it's not your white, 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 white. It's got a little bit of a gray tone to it. It's a really cool color, I love it. And I just painted it and then I just grabbed a cloth, wet distressed a little bit to rub off some of the paint so that the black comes through, which gives it that farmhouse style, very shabby chic. And then we put this huge sticker, which is what it transfer is. It's, it's like a sticker, um, but they're very delicate. They're really, really beautiful, great quality. I mean, it's like they're a piece of art and you can cut them so you don't have to use the whole piece. This because it was a big mirror, but if you wanted to just use a, a little bit of it for a small project, you can always cut it and whatever you don't use, you roll it up and you put it back in the tube that it comes in, which is a super cool tube. I have to figure out what to do with these. That's another project for another day. But I'm almost done. I mean, it does take a little bit of time, but uh, it's worth it. You can use them on the walls. You can use them on paper. You can use them on metal, wood, of course, furniture. Now we're putting it on a mirror. I've been watching some of my colleagues and friends do this, and I said, ooh, I got to show my people how to do this. I'm almost done, you guys. Okay, so good question. I actually mentioned that earlier about how you clean it after. Okay, when you put a transfer on a mirror, you're not actually going to seal it. You know, it's a mirror, you don't seal it. It sticks on, period. It's not like a piece of furniture. To clean it, you really, you can, you know, just use uh, not even a damp cloth. That's why when you put the transfer on, you gotta really make sure that the mirror is clean before you put the transfer on. And then to clean it would really just be like dusting it. You're not gonna be able to put any kind of sprays, any kind of Lysol, because if not, you know, the chemicals on those products will ruin the transfer. Um, this is pretty much, oops, hold on, sorry about that. Ah, hold on a second, Carla. Um, you really don't, you, you just, have to wipe it clean with a dust, you know, dust cloth. So you see the parts that I didn't use? They go back on the piece of paper and I can use them for another project. So let's see what we got here. Let me just fold this up. So just fold it up. in here in the tube you can use it another time so we'll just put this away for now all right cool so what do you guys think look at this isn't that awesome no um okay so it comes in the tube so these are the transfers, they come like this, right? And they come with their own tool. Each of these tubes has a plastic tool. So when you place it on wherever you're gonna put it, you rub it, you rub the transfer onto the surface you're working on. And they come with a little plastic tool, that's it. There's nothing else that you need to do. So yeah, that's a great question.
Yep, um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, at the beginning I was explaining to you, but I know you're just coming in now. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not like a squingy. It's, a, it's plastic. I guess it, you could call it a squingy. <laughs> it's, a pla it's plastic. And it has like a little rib at the top. So it helps like when you're rubbing it. It's not flat that it slides. It actually has a little like roof where it helps scrape it off from the transfer onto the surface that you're working on. Yeah, you're welcome, Carla. So you're able to, I know sometimes you can be here at five and sometimes not. I'm glad that you're here today. I've missed you. You guys, so look at this. Let me, there's some here that rubbed off on the outside, but I'll clean that off. But I want you guys to be able to see this. you see so yeah no it's a mirror so you just want to just dust it okay dust it clean not with any chemicals but pretty much this is gonna probably go on the wall because it's like a picture but it's a mirror it's nice isn't it thank you thank you Carla all right it's that so I'm gonna take it to one more step so there's some pieces here that rubbed off and I don't want. So I have like, you know, like a little knife that I can just take off any excess. And take it off or leave it. I mean, this is where you can get creative. You know what I mean, guys? That's what being an artist, you just create whatever works for you. It doesn't have to be perfect. Sometimes, and most of the time, what you thought of that you wanted is now what ends up happening. Something else comes up. So it's a, my little knife, and I'm just cutting off any excess that I don't want. very sticky. You see what I'm doing? I'm just cleaning up the borders. And now I'm doing it on this side. You see over here? There's like a little bit that came out on the side. I just use my... What are these called? I forgot something something knife and I'm just pulling off any excess I don't want What do you guys think? All right, so one last step before I let you guys go. Scalpel? Scalpel? Yeah, I guess, right? <laughs> and, uh, I, I know my daughter used to use them in school and some, something knife, but a scalpel does it too. It's, they're kind of, they're so sharp. They're scary sometimes, but it's the best. I use it all the time. So, okay, you guys, thank you, Carla, for letting me know. Um, all right, so look. Go back if you guys missed the beginning so you could see how easy it was to use the paint, to paint the frame, to distress it, wet distress with just a damp cloth to bring out the details. I, of course, will take some pictures and put them up on the website so you guys could see and on Facebook as well so you could see the finished product. Um, so now what you really want to do is with, again, the lint-free cloth that you cleaned, at the beginning, you know, to make sure that it was no residue of any kind of chemicals left on the mirror, just go over it lightly on this transfer, just to make sure, especially like on the borders. 
since it's kind of like a big sticker, you want to make sure that it sticks well and that there's no little bubbles. Sometimes there may be areas that it didn't, you know, stick on 100%. So just lightly, a lint-free cloth, just go over it on the border, help it stick to the mirror. Seems pretty good sometimes when it's lifted, you hear a little like pop, like pop, pop sound. I'm not hearing that, so I guess it must have done very well. And that's pretty much it. Let me put it back a little bit so you guys can see better. Any questions? And that's it. Voila. Wait, let me lift this up more. Look at this. Isn't that the coolest? That was a plain black mirror, and now it's got this gorgeous design. You can put it anywhere in the house. It's a beautiful piece of art. So let me just give you a quick recap of what I used, if you missed the beginning. So the transfer that I used today by IOD is called Midnight Garden. The paints I used are by Country Chic. Sorry, gotta get all the paint out. But it, the color is called Crinoline. It's a clay-based paint, all in warm paint. You don't need to do any sanding or priming. Just paint and go. It was black, we just painted over it. Now, to wet distress, it's just any cloth. You can just wet distress the areas on the frame that you want to give it some detail. And now the only extra thing that I'm going to do now is seal it. And I'm not doing that now because I'm still going to finish up distressing it. Uh, for the sake of the video, um, you know, I can't do it all. If not, we'll be here for a little bit of a longer time. I don't want to keep you here all night. But once I'm done with the distressing, and this is very simple, I do seal it with beast wax. Now you don't have to, by the way. Remember I always say these paints already have all the sealers in them. So it depends to you. If you want to leave it, it's not really going to be an area that you're going to be using all the time, like a piece of furniture. It's probably going to be hanging on the wall. But I like to seal my pieces anyway, and a little bit of wax goes a long way. I use 100% natural beeswax um, by Sweet Pickens. Milk Paint is the, the brand, the name of the company. And all these products, if you want to purchase them, I do have them on my website online at somethingfromsomewhere.com. Um, and uh, it's pretty much, you know, more explanation and details if you go online. But again, if I, you need any help, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you. So I think for today, that's all. I'll take some pictures and put them up on, the, on my page and you guys can check out the end. And again, thank you for being here. I'm sorry about being a little bit late. I had some technical difficulties and I don't know, I hope that you guys are seeing me correctly because you're kind of upside down, all these messages coming through. So um, we kind of started going sideways. Hope the, the video comes out good. So anyway, thanks again for being here. And uh, I hope that I inspired you to create something from somewhere and make it beautiful. And I will see you again next Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Thanks for being here. Big kiss. Bye.